welcome back. Well, it's a place that no parent wishes to end up with their child. But if you do, you are so grateful that it's there. Bear Cottage in Sydney provides love and support for the families of terminally ill children through their most difficult time. And Sally, there's now a high-profile campaign to have more of them around Australia. Good morning to you again. Morning, Baz. That's right. It's a sad truth. There simply aren't enough places like Bear Cottage for families who need them. It's something Ryan and Karen Fowler realised when they were staying there with their little boy, Rio. Now the Fowlers are on a mission to make sure across the country everyone has a special place of comfort to turn to when the most awful of news is delivered. Uh, hey! It was late 2017 when Ryan and Karen Fowler took their little boy Rio to hospital with gastro. They never imagined he wouldn't come home. While treating Rio, doctors discovered he had a rare medical condition which he could not survive. That's when Rio's parents and big sister Remy turned to Bear Cottage. Given a space to unite as a family and be as strong as we needed to in that, those final moments, yeah. And make Rio feel like he was still part of the family and our family was together and that he was safe, no matter what was happening to him. The Fowlers say it helped put their family back together. Too many times at that stage, you're focusing so much on medicine and all this stuff and you forget to be a family and you forget to just to be the mum and dad and, the, and the, with your son and with your daughter and things like that and places like this allow you that opportunity to do that. Bear Cottage offers love and support for terminally ill children and their families but there are only three centres like it in Australia. In October Ryan will ride from Adelaide to Sydney via Melbourne and Hobart with the hope of changing that. The Premier of New South Wales, Mike Baird, has come on board to help. He's reached out to state governments across the country, asking them to support Ryan's charity ride and his big dream. Knowing how governments work, <laughs> uh, they're not necessarily going to sort of commit to a construction schedule uh, yet, but uh, look, the, the goodwill is there, so um, certainly they're um, open um, to establishing a hospice. Um, they're going to be have more to say as uh, the ride comes through, so let's, let's see where they're up to, um, but certainly there's goodwill and uh, my expectation is uh, there may be some great announcements as part of the ride. Right now, there are only three options for children who need palliative care. To have one of these facilities in every capital city across Australia would be the ultimate goal. Uh, it is a very big goal. It will take a lot of effort. It will take a lot of money. But wouldn't it be wonderful? At the moment, there's Bear Cottage in Sydney, very special kids in Melbourne and Hummingbird House in Queensland. Each facility can only take around eight children with their families at a time. For those who live far away, there's no option but to travel. I think there's a family here last week uh, from the Northern Territory, uh, as an example. So, uh, yeah, there is. we have a capacity to do it. Um, it just requires goodwill, um, some inspiration from some incredible Australians um, and some governments willing to listen. And I think uh, we have that perfect trifecta underway at the moment. The Fowler's charity, Rio's Legacy, has already raised money to help buy equipment for Bear Cottage. Their efforts assisting families like the Robertsons and their little three-year-old, Archie. Bear Cottage isn't like a hospital. It's warm and inviting and offers a one-of-a-kind support for families. And the best news is it's free, partially funded by the state government and by the generosity of the community, people like the Fowlers. Please help us love these children and these families with this these lives that don't look the way a beautiful life normally looks, but they're so rich and so meaningful. Oh, Sal, they are a beautiful family, the Fowlers. I just, uh, what they are doing is absolutely incredible. It's obviously been the worst of the time of times for them, losing their little boy, Rio. Um, but they have now turned it into this incredible mission of love and compassion for Australian families in a situation which, as you can see, is, mm. is the mm. toughest of toughest. And I, I just love it then when you see other high... You know, high-powered people getting on board and just, you know, changing people's mm. lives in that, that last yeah. crucial moment. It's been a bit of a mission for Fergo, obviously, uh, who's been an ambassador for a couple of years. And Sally, it's been a mission of yours to bring yeah. that story to people uh, in Australia, which is fantastic because people can support. That's they the can. thing. They can get involved. So um, Ryan will actually be doing a ride right across the country. As we said, it starts in October. And if you'd like to head, uh, help, you can head to sunrise.com.au and we have all the links to how you can 
hopefully donate to the charity and, and just and just give what you can because it is a really really important cause. Well done, Absolutely. Sal. Good yeah. on you. Thank you so much, Sal. Ahead for you on.